The Oisler MP282 Max Power Bank is the perfect design for recharging your dying phone while still being able to use it. It hugs the phone in a pleasing ergonomic way that means you can continue to use your phone while topping up the battery. In this video I review the design and the performance of the Oisler MP282 Max. My phone's battery is dying and it can't make it through a full day. I usually change phones once a year, chasing the latest specs and features in the Google Pixel range. However, while there were improvements to the Pixel 7, I opted to stay with my trusty Pixel 6 Pro for another year. Since buying it, it's become a stalwart of my digital life, not only for communications, but surfing, photography and videography. Some of my videos on my channel were even shot using it. However, I've well and truly crushed the battery in that time. I didn't follow the best practices to increase the longevity of my battery, often overcharging it in its pixel cradle for convenience. I've also exposed it to harsh environments, making it sweat through boiling hot car interiors, while simultaneously making it charge and supply driving directions on long road trips. Even with the adaptive battery turned on in the settings, I've managed to shrink the battery longevity to a mere 12 hours of fairly average use, and much less than that if I'm out of the house for long periods. This is obviously a point of frustration, which I've had to remedy with the use of power banks in the past. However, while useful, if I still need to use my phone while charging, even the slimmest traditional power banks are cumbersome to hold at the same time. That's why I was delighted when the Oisler reached out to me to check out their MP282 Max battery. What makes this power bank unique is the way it's designed to hug your phone on the back while delivering a charge through the USB-C or lightning connector at the bottom. The form factor also means that unlike other solutions, you can easily continue to use your phone while it charges. In the box is the power bank itself, which is finished in a nice tactile soft plastic. It measures a little stockier and shorter than a credit card, but about the same thickness as most of the latest phones. There's an LED light which doubles as a button on the top, which you can press to turn the battery on and off. The light will also glow different colours depending on the remaining charge capacity of the 5900mAh battery. A blue light indicates fully charged, or almost fully charged. If the light is purple, it indicates the power bank is partially charged. Finally, a red light indicates the battery is empty or almost empty. There's also a companion USB-A to USB-C cable, which is recommended for use when charging the battery. This is the Android version of the MP282 Max with a USB-C connector, but Oisler also has a version for iPhones with a lightning connector instead. First and foremost, the Oisler power bank is designed for a very snug fit. It can't be used if your phone case is even slightly thick, otherwise the USB-C connector won't align with the female socket on your phone. For my own phone, I've been using a cheap replacement case after wearing out my original official Pixel case, but unfortunately it was too thick to accommodate the Oisler battery. I was still interested in having some kind of protection for my phone and bought the thinnest case on Amazon I could find. However, the design tolerance for the MP282 Max was such that even this super slim case was too thick despite the 0.8mm specification. In the end, I had to unsheath my venerable Pixel 6 Pro to use the power bank. This might be an issue for some owners who use cases. However, it's worth noting that the power bank is designed for use with multiple brands, so the same issue might not be applicable to Samsung, LG or other Android phones if your case is suitably slim and the charging port is closer to the back of the phone. Case issues aside, it has to be said that the fit is very satisfying. The power bank clicks into the socket and is held firmly. You can even hold the phone and the power bank won't slip out, although I'd caution against shaking the phone without supporting the battery just in case. The position and size of the power bank is also very satisfying and it nestles in the palm of your hand. It actually rests in such a way that using the naked phone is more comfortable with the battery attached than without it. The power bank is a 5900 milliamp battery that complies to Power Delivery 3.0 and Quick Charge 3.0. It can provide your device with optimised fast charging up to 18 watts of output. My Pixel 6 Pro has a 5000 milliamp battery, so I can achieve a single charge from almost empty to 100% in roughly 2 hours. While some devices can charge faster because of linear power delivery, some of the latest phones like the Pixel series throttle the charge around the 80% mark to improve battery life, extending the charging time. As I discovered in my previous review of power banks, it's not a one-for-one -one transfer of power, with some energy lost through heat. So while the capacity of the Oisler battery is 900 milliamps larger than the capacity of the Pixel 6 Pro, my phone will drain the power bank to zero to achieve a full charge. The battery on my phone will run pretty warm during operation. 
The Pixel 6 Pro has always had some challenges around heat dissipation due to the slim form factor. Coupled with the Ozil battery position, it means that you'll notice quite a bit more heat than normal, in my opinion. After discharging the battery, Ozil recommends using a power brick with 20 watts output, which is pretty convenient for charging it as quickly as possible. In my household, only my Pixel 6 Pro 30 watt charger gets close to that output, so using any recent charger that is compatible with your smartphone is ideal. It is possible to recharge your power bank while connected to your phone. Reading through the documentation that comes with the power bank, the phone will charge first before enabling the power bank to charge, which could be useful if you have a dead phone and the power bank is also empty. However, Ozil recommends that you charge them separately to avoid any unnecessary overheating that might occur. Overall, I really like the Ozil MP282 Max for its size and convenience. I travel a lot, whether running errands around town or larger journeys while on vacation. When I find myself in a situation where leaving the phone plugged in isn't an option, the Ozil power bank is ideal for charging on the go. It would have been nice to be able to use a case at the same time as charging my Pixel 6 Pro, However, I can see the immense engineering challenge around trying to accommodate the almost infinite variations of every brand of Android phone and phone cases. It makes sense that Oizel went for the lowest common denominator for a happy medium. I imagine this issue is less of a problem with iPhone owners, where every phone is a uniform specification, and only the bulkiest cases will actually create problems for owners. Either way, if taking the case off your phone is not a deal breaker, then it's a small inconvenience for what I think is a very elegant solution for charging your phone while on the go. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the connected home and personal technology.